Welcome back to the Freerider Custom Series. The exhaust and breather are on. Stage one is complete. We have all that fantastic air pushing its way into the engine and all the exhaust and burnt fuel pumping out the back. The better the exhaust flows, the less work the engine has to do to expel the exhaust gas. And now we can put a little more stress on that engine. Today's upgrade. The Screamin' Eagle, the Walkie 8 Stage 2 kit. What does a cam do on your Harley Davidson? Well, its primary purpose is to open and close your intake and exhaust valves. That doesn't sound like a big deal, but even a small change to those valves can make a big difference in performance. So whether you want more power for overtaking, or you want to rip down the straight at Phillip Island, the stock cam has got to go. This is the full cam kit laid out, and as you can see, there's some pretty complex parts in here. It's a very serious job. Yeah. So you might not want to mess around with this one at home. Oh, 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 oh. Lucky for me, Harley Tech Andrew lives in a box under the workshop. <laughs> Let's go poke him with a stick and see if we can't get this thing going. Andrew? <laughs> hey, you're back. How are you, mate? You good? Good, mate. Good. So I've been looking at this stage two upgrade. It's the cam. I know you love doing cams. Absolutely. And what can we expect out of the cam in terms of performance? Are we getting more torque? Are we getting more power? What are we looking at here? For starters, everything's going to flow a lot nicer through it. You're going to get more torque, horsepower. If you want to overtake that car down the highway, not a problem. Oh, yeah, I like the sound of that. Can I cut my own push rods? We don't normally allow that sort of thing, but <laughs> seeing as you... Think I got the power for it? Yeah, I reckon your guns are big enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll let you get started. I'll be back for some chop. Beautiful. Legend. No worries. Thanks, Cheers. Mate. I like tinkering on my bike as much as the next person, but when it comes to an advanced upgrade like this, it's always best to use an authorised Harley technician. That way you know it's going to get done right. Now, you're not usually allowed to walk into a Harley workshop and cut your own push rods, but I'm on television, so I get an exception. Right? Absolutely. Oh, it's working for me. <laughs> Andrew, why do we need to even cut the push rods? Normally what we do is we lift the seat, the tank, take the rocker covers off and the boxes and, and the rockers, but today we're going to cut them and put uh, adjustable push rods in it. So it's a time saver and it's fun. All right. Snip, snip. That's <laughs> it, up as high as you can. Up as high as I can? Yep. About here? Yep, beautiful. All right, I'm on. Now, give it a Give him, give him a... It's definitely been arm day. Oh, look at that, you got it. Right, give it a bit of a twist. Twist here. Beautiful. Oh, spat that one out. <laughs> oh, it still worked. <laughs> All right, ready? Oh, it actually... It does take, oh, there we go. It does take a little bit of, hey, yeah, that one's clean. Fantastic, there we go. This is good. Ah. You sit down when I do it. <laughs> the push rods are attached to our upgraded camshaft, and as that rotates, the push rods transfer the movement of the rocker arm which in turn closes the inlet valve or opens the outlet valve. So in terms I understand, bike go faster. Andrew, all done. All done, mate. Oof, well, I am pooped. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> mate, if you had to guess, how much extra power do you think we're gonna get out of this beast now? Well, to be honest, let's let the dyno tell us. All right, I think that's a good idea. Yep. Can we wheel it over? Let's do it. All right, man. <laughs> Thanks for your help, mate. <laughs> I'll just stand here, buddy. Do that. After you've been around motorcycles for a while, you'll hear this term dyno tune thrown around. And if you're doing any custom work on your bike, it's a very important piece of the puzzle. 
From the factory, your bike is perfectly tuned for your stock parts. But anytime you're doing custom work on the bike, you're changing the ignition, how much fuel and air is going into the engine, so you need to let the rest of the bike know exactly what's going on. A dyno is basically like a treadmill that lets your back wheel accelerate at maximum speed through the gears. And you can't do that on road, especially if you want to keep your license. Any custom shop worth their salt will have a dyno. It gives the tech the ability to check the adjustments in real time. The exhaust is on, the breather's on, the stage two cam is in, and we have the whole side of the bike exposed, ready for the dyno. Now let's see what this thing can do. After a couple of runs on the dyno and Peter's tuning, we picked up an increase of about 15% in performance. It's really loud inside the dyno, so even from out here, we get a good sense of just exactly what the bike sounds like at top speed. But this is a fully sealed, sound sealed chamber. And Pete's in there with his headphones on and we're out here trying not to blow up the sound equipment. I have a feeling that this is going to hammer. Let's put a couple miles down on it, eh? Oh man, that is awesome. Now you hear the bike on the dyno, you see those numbers, but it's not until you jump on it and ride, you notice how much difference the cam, exhaust and air cleaner have made. Now I tell you what, we're going to have to start underlining the special in this Road Glide special. Now we've got all this newfound power, we don't want to sacrifice anything in the handling or rider comfort department. So on the next episode, we'll be installing the Screaming Eagle Olin's Remote Reservoir Shocks. It's gonna be a goodie. See you on the next one. <laughs> I'll do a couple of quick push-ups. Do some gel real quick. Baby oil. <laughs> might have, yeah, I might have to take my shirt off. Do some baby oil first. You got me oil? Yeah. No.